everybody, I'm Miss Lexi from Kitty Care, and today we are making egg carton flowers for Mother's Day, which is May 9th. An egg carton, some thin cardboard, paint and glue, a paintbrush, scissors, and some card or cardstock to mount your flowers on. Don't forget to put down some paper towel or newspaper to protect your workspace. Let's start by cutting out some egg cups. You need two to three egg cups per flower. Younger children may require assistance cutting out the egg cups. Now we need to shape our egg cups into flower petals. You'll need two larger ones and one smaller one or one large one and one small one. They don't have to be perfect. Flowers have many sizes and shapes of petals. There we go. There's my large one. Now I'm going to cut out a small one. If you need help, please ask your parents. There we go. There's my smaller flower cup. Once you're done cutting out your flower petals, you'll need to shape them. So we would just want to push the back, them back so they are open like a flower. Just like that. You'll also need to take a scrap piece of egg carton and you just want to cut out three short, straight pieces. Those are going to be the inside of our flower. One, two, three. Now we are going to paint our flowers. I'm going to paint these small, straight pieces yellow. I'm going to paint this flower blue, this flower pink, and this flower purple. You can paint your flowers whatever color you want. You can even paint different parts of your flower different colors if you would like. Don't forget to paint the inside and the outside of your flower. You do not need to paint the bottom of the flower for your big petal as we will be gluing that to the cardstock. The smaller flowers you can paint the bottom as well. There we go. I'm going to set this down to dry and while our flowers are drying we're going to cut out our leaves and our stems. For our leaves and stems, you'll be using a thin piece of card. You just want to cut a straight or maybe slightly curvy piece. I'm going to make this stem very curvy. There we go. And I think I'll do another curvy one. And you can make these stems long or short, and they don't all have to be straight. They can be curvy, they can go off at an angle. Flowers grow every which way, so there's no wrong way to cut your stem. See, that one's really wiggly. We're also going to cut out some leaves. You can have round leaves, you can have pointy leaves. 
it's up to you. I think I'm going to make a couple round ones with points on them. One leaf. And you can make lots of leaves. You could make only two leaves. It is your choice. You can even make big leaves or you can make little, little, tiny leaves just like, just like this. Once we've cut our leaves out, we're going to paint them green. And you can use any shade of green you want. I'm going to use this green for mine. We're only going to paint one side of our leaf. And it's okay if you paint your fingers, we can wash the paint off. Here you go. One of my leaves, two, and three. I'm also going to paint my stems. You only need to paint one side of your stems and one side of your leaves. There we go. And while we let these dry, we're going to go get our dried egg cup flowers and we're going to put them together. Let's assemble our flowers. I'm going to use white glue to put my flowers together. We're going to start by assembling the medium set of petals with the large ones. So we're going to put a dot of glue in our big petal and then we're going to take our medium ones and stick it in and see how I have angled it so that my medium petals stick out in between my large petals. Give that a push and set it aside to dry. Then we're going to take our small petals and our small pieces of yellow egg carton. We're going to curl it so that it looks like this. And I'm going to put a small dot of white glue inside my small petal. And then I'm going to stick my little curled up piece of egg carton into that. There, now we have the center of our flower. And set that aside to dry. Now that our flowers have set, we're going to spread the petals out. Start by taking the petals on the outside flower and just Gently bend them back like that. And then with our inside flower, gently bending them back so that our flower is open. Then we're going to do the same for our small flower. Gently push it back, not too much. And then we're going to take our small petals and put them in our bigger flower. So just a dot of glue in the middle. And making sure that when you put this little flower in, the petals are turned just a little bit again so that they're not at the same angle as the other ones. Just like that. And then I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. There we go. I'm going to set that one aside and our last set of flowers. If you do a two cup flower with just one big one and one little one, you'll still need to make sure that your petals don't overlap each other. Here 
There we go. Oops, that needs to be turned just a little bit. There, just like that. We're going to let these set and we're going to go get our stems and assemble them on our cardstock. So here are our stems and our leaves. I have some extra leaves that I painted earlier. So I have two different colors of leaves. Just like that. And as you can see, this stem at the very top is lifting off the card just a little. It is okay. I'll add some more glue to that and push it down real good. And when it dries, it should stay stuck to the cardstock. And we'll set that aside to dry. Now that our stems have set, it is time to glue our flowers on. I think I'm going to put this cheerful little blue one on my short stem. So I'm going to put some white glue all around, all around the bottom here. And then I'm going to gently press down on the edges of the flower and push on the center. There we go. And now I'm going to take this pretty purple flower. I'm going to put it right over here. And when I'm attaching my flowers, I'm gently pressing in the center of them and gently pushing on the petals. There we go. And lastly, our pink flower. So again, I'm going to take it and stick it right on the top of my stem here, pushing down in the center of my flower, gently but firmly, and then gently pushing on the edges of my flower. And now that our flowers are glued on, if the petals have closed a bit, you can gently push them out again, like that. we go. And there we have it, our lovely Mother's Day egg carton flowers. Thank you for joining me in making our egg carton flowers for Mother's Day. And I hope that all the mothers out there have a wonderful day. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.